what is so cool about the Pokemon Pelipper's bill? I'm Shelby, a wild animal biologist who loves pulp culture and uses this to combine real life biology into Pokemon biology and vice versa. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. Pelipper, the water bird Pokemon, first introduced to us in Generation 3, and the evolved form of Wingle, but that oddity is for a completely different video. Pelipper's bill is rather large, after all, with its head, it makes up most of its body. According to the Pokedex entries, Pelipper's bill has a throat pouch, which it uses to carry eggs and small Pokemon, or even a Pokemon vending machine, if you're Team Rocket, to catch their grub like Wishy Washy or even Love disc, they'll skim across the top of the waves and scoop them up before swallowing them in one gulp. But do our real life Pokemon Pelicans use their pouch to carry young? Nope, they most certainly do not. But don't click away, there's plenty of other cool things that they use their bill for that makes them like a real life Pokemon. There are seven different species of Pelican found throughout the world, and they all have that famous Gular pouch, that stretchy piece of skin that's actually quite sensitive between the bones on their lower mandible or jaw. Now, while they don't necessarily carry young in their pouch, they can use it to carry sticks to their nest sites to build nests for their young. Pelicans can also use this pouch to cool off. When things get a bit toasty, they'll open their bill and flap the pouch to help them cool down. Now the entries state that Pelper skims and scoops. Pelicans have actually three different ways of hunting. Each species uses one of these techniques. First up is my personal favorite, the brown pelican. After all, these are the guys that I grew up with in California. They dive head first into the ocean to catch their prey. And they have some unique adaptations to protect them while doing this. I'll put a link to this video at the end, this one. Some species like the pink back pelican stay in the water and slowly paddle up to sneak up on their prey before scooping them up. And these guys typically hunt on their own. Whereas others like the Australian pelican will hunt in groups by herding fish towards the shore to get them into shallow water before, you guessed it, scooping them up. I think the pelican species that Pelipper is most like is probably the Australian pelican, not only for their hunting technique, but also because of the sheer size of their bill. The Australian pelican has the longest bill of any bird. In males, it can reach up to 46 centimeters in length. Now we know pelicans don't use their bills to carry their young, but then surely they must use it to store food, right? Nope again. After scooping their prey up, they'll tip their head forward to drain out any of the water before trying to get their prey to face head first towards their throat by then throwing their head back to swallow their prey whole. However, this stretchy, sensitive bit of skin can definitely hold its weight. And like the limerick says, it actually can hold more than their stomach can. The gular pouch can hold up to three gallons of water. That is two to three times more than what they can hold in their stomach. But as we know, they drain out that water before swallowing their prey. So while our real life Pokemon use their bill for different things than that of Pelipper, they certainly are still incredible. In fact, to learn more about the brown pelican and their incredible adaptations to survive that dive bombing technique of hunting for fish, check out my video right here to keep your safari going. Go and click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.